Rise and shine, the sunny handsome, aka sunshine. And um, I'm going to get into this quick class, uh, the fifth gospel by Rudolf Stein, best in glory, him, and all the master teachers from the Akashic Records. So just listen and gain your understanding, your inner standing. <laughs> For when it comes to gaining higher insight, such knowledge did not cast light on things or solve riddles, as it were, but brought darkness, just as the moon darkens the sun during a solar eclipse. This, then, is what you read in the occult symbol of the sun darkened by the moon. As a clairvoyant, you feel that the higher, truly spiritual regions of the world are obscured by the knowledge of ancient times. Fair use. For this has put itself in One front of seven. true perception, just as the moon goes in front Education. of the sun in an eclipse. The outer event in nature gives expression to the fact that humanity had reached a level where knowledge that had come from humanity itself had obscured insight into higher things. You feel that the darkening of the human soul in the course of Earth's evolution was written in the cosmos as a tremendous occult character at the time of the mystery of Golgotha. As I have said, a modern mind may feel insulted when such things are said because people no longer understand the way spiritual powers are active in the universe, Talk to powers me. connected with the power in the human soul. I do not wish to speak of miracles in the usual way of going against the laws of nature, but I cannot but tell you how we should read the darkening of the sun. We can do no other but stand before the darkening of the sun, as if we were reading what this natural event brought to expression. Damn, I'm fucking up. Moon knowledge casts darkness on the higher message of the sun. Once you have read that occult script, there appears to clairvoyant consciousness the image of the cross raised on Golgotha, of the body of Jesus hanging on it between the two thieves. And you perceive the image. Perhaps I may be permitted to add that the more you resist the image, the more forcibly it presents itself, of the body being taken from the cross Sacrifice. and placed in the tomb. In then the a tomb. second tremendous symbol appears, for again something is written in the cosmos, which has to be read and understood a symbol of what truly happened at this point in human evolution. You look at the image of Jesus taken down from the cross and placed in the tomb, and as you direct the mind's eye to this, you are shaken through and through inwardly by an earthquake which passed through that region. It is possible that the connection between the darkening of the sun and the earthquake will one day also be understood more clearly in scientific terms. Theories are already in existence, though they lack cohesion, that there is a connection between solar eclipses, earthquakes, and even fire, damp, and mines. The earthquake in Palestine was a consequence of the darkening of the sun. It shook the tomb in which the body of Jesus had been laid, and the stone covering it was wrenched Woo! away. A fissure opened, and the corpse was received into this. Lift that Further tremors caused the fissure to close up again over the corpse. When people got there in the morning, the tomb was empty. For the earth had received the dead body of Jesus, only the stone remained, flung some distance. You hear that? The earth Let us consider swallowed. the sequence of images once more. Jesus died on the cross on Golgotha. Darkness fell on earth. The dead body of Jesus was placed in the open tomb. A tremor shook the ground, and the dead body of Jesus was taken up into the earth. The fissure opened by the tremors closed, the stone was hurled aside. No soul dies. Those were actual events. I can do no other but describe them. People wishing to approach these things on the basis of modern science may think what they like, offering all kinds of reasons against this. The clairvoyant eye sees what I have described. Talk if someone it. were to say it was impossible for a tremendous sign language to arise out of the cosmos, presenting a symbol that indicated something new had come into human evolution, if someone were to say the divine powers do not inscribe events in the earth in characters such as a darkening of the sun and an earthquake, all I would be able to say in reply would be, why well, respect your belief that such things cannot be, but they have nevertheless happened. Ah, that right there. I can well imagine. All right. One time the alliance.